Welcome to A Better HR Business, the podcast that looks at how HR consultants and HR tech firms grow their businesses and how they help their employers to get the best out of their people. Remember, for show notes and downloads, go to www.getmorehrclients.com forward slash podcast. That's getmorehrclients.com forward slash podcast. Okay, let's get started. Hello, thanks for joining me today. Really good to have you along. And thank you very much to Mandy Withers, founder of Talk HR Solutions and the Talk HR Club for joining me as well. Mandy, hello, and thanks for being here. Thanks, Ben, for having me on again. It's great to uh, to speak with you. Yeah, always good to have a chat with you. Um, and so if you don't know Mandy, Mandy, as I said, is founder of Talk HR Solutions and the Talk HR Club. She's also my partner in crime for the HR Consultant Bootcamp. And so I wanted to dive in to some of the topics that are, we cover in that and more specifically for this episode, is how to have an amazing 2021. So Mandy, you have kindly put together a workbook to help our listeners make it happen. Um, Before we get into that, it'd be great to have a recap on what we did with the HR Consultant Bootcamp this year and what's happening next year. Do you want to share your thoughts on what happened? Yes, Ben, it's been great. Um, It's been amazing, actually. We've, We've had people from Barbados to Bristol I think we've had a, over a total of 60 plus attendees on the four boot camps that we run during 2020. Yeah. I don't know about you, Ben, but it actually is a great pleasure when you see them getting more established in their businesses. It's oh, a really yeah. good sort of intro, isn't it, to work for yourself? Absolutely. It was such a great mix of people in there. And yeah, I mean, sure, it's annoying when we had people dialing in from gorgeous locations, pretty much sitting on the beach there yeah. while it was raining outside my place. But um. Yeah, what do we have? Israel, UK, US, Australia, Australia, um, Vancouver, Angola, and yep, uh, Canada. Yep. Oh, it's a great range. Um, and yeah, we had a nice mix of people who were uh, either leaving their senior corporate HR roles and moving into their own business, and then we had other ones who were just starting out, and then another set who were, I suppose, a bit more experienced in their consulting role and were trying to scale things up. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice. And what do you think were some of the recurring themes and topics that came up in the discussions? I think pricing was a big thing for people, knowing their worth and how to position themselves in the market. And what I love was when the light bulbs went on and they could actually see some opportunities to create a niche for themselves. And their zone of genius is that often they, they were oblivious to their zone of genius and actually coming out with offers and packages um, it was great to witness and uh, to be part of each group was different and the support there was amazing. But I, I learned a lot, Ben, by actually seeing these individuals blossom, really. Yeah. Um, I, I can't wait to get started for the next one. Yeah, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was great that the mix of services and offerings that people had, whether it was in the legal side, compliance or uh, recruitment, um, others more into the employee life cycle and employee engagement side of things. So yeah, it was really a great mix. Yeah, absolutely. And many of them have started through difficult times, obviously with COVID, um, you know, with March, I think some people just launched just before COVID yeah. and, and that they, they've been really successful. When you're looking at what they're doing now, you're thinking what a time to launch, but it's been, it's been amazing to see them to really grow their businesses in difficult times. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think they always laughed when you came on the calls because um, typically you just picked up another client or picked up another recruitment project or an HR project, and you were you always super busy as well. Um, so I think they took inspiration from that on the HR yeah, side of things. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. and we celebrated each other's successes, didn't we? Which was nice. And when we asked about their wins and they were sharing their wins, while well, we were all doing the high fives weren't we so that was a great experience and it was encouraging to everybody to see that taking place they were trying new things that they hadn't done before so Mm. you know it does work doesn't it ben yeah absolutely uh and so the next one is coming up soon and you know they're more planned for people just dialing in for the first time on this one what do we typically cover in the bootcamp? Well, we look at their sort of offering, don't we, and their sort of niche. And um, I think the pricing one, that actually, I saw lots of light bulbs go on for the pricing one and actually have to manage their businesses effectively, you know, having systems and processes. 
um, and also getting the right mindset to um, to run their business because there are days when it is a roller coaster and you'll be on the highs and the lows. But the mindset um, that we do at the very end, that kind of is the icing on the cake, isn't it? So, yeah, um, yeah I think it, it's a great way to fast track your business. And if you've been going for a little while, it's good to check in whether you've covered all the bases, really. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and in between there, the, um, we had sort of some of the uh, sales and marketing aspects, and it's mm. fascinating to see some of those in play mm. since then, um, uh, people really shining. So, mm. I, I liked really um, cool. when we did the partnership, Ben. How mm, many people yeah. that didn't think about partnership and they came back and told us what partnerships they'd set up? Yeah, oh, some crazy stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's great. Mm. And I suppose it's one of the upsides almost of the COVID that we've gone remote and so people are doing more and more partnerships remotely. So, I mean, here's you and I talking in different countries. Yeah. So it's absolutely possible. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. So if you're listening to this, I, I thoroughly encourage you to check out the HR Consultant Bootcamp. So if you just go to getmorehrclients.com forward slash bootcamp, you'll see the details and links and the opportunity to sign up because it's only, we only do small groups. Um, so don't miss out on that. Um, Mandy, before we move on, any final thoughts to people thinking about doing the boot camp? I would just say my catchphrase every time is just do it. And that, that's something the boot camp has always used to tease me about that. I just say, <laughs> just do it. Just get on with it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. Well, so, how do people have an amazing 2021? Because gee whiz, 2020 was an, an unusual year, wouldn't you say? So um, you've kind of put together a bit of a workbook for people to map things out. Can you give me an overview of what's in that? Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is a little bit of a Christmas giveaway for me, just to say thank you to everybody for the support this last 12 months in terms of seeing people working together, collaborating and most people know me, I'm a real giver and I want to help others on that journey of being a successful HR consultant. So I've just shared some tips that I do that's continued with me for many years. And I just thought, well, let's get this out there that's going to help others. So one of the first things I always think about is like goal setting. And, you know, you wouldn't set off across the country, Ben, would you, without some directions or GPS because if you did, you might end up in a, uh, you might have a surprising adventure. You might end up in a place that you just didn't know that, you know, and that's what happens in business. If you don't map it out, then you're not going to at least uh, achieve the things you set out to do. So every Christmas, I do this thing with my community. We do a review of what's been achieved, you know, this last 12 months. And, and when I think about COVID in particular, I saw lots of consultants pivot during that time so I always do this thing in this past 12 months you know what are the things that you know I may look at what was the riskiest decision I took and what was the wisest decision I took and what was the biggest thing I completed so some of the things for myself would be I never thought that I would be so online as our business has totally transformed yeah um will i continue to do that into 2021 of course i will i can see the benefits of not having to put diesel in the car not wasting time in commuting and still be able to deliver value to my clients so a total review is called for in the first instance and to actually look at the emotions around it as well because you don't want to be taking things through into 2021 so if you're somebody that sat there at the moment and I didn't have a great year, then just find a way to download that and actually re-energize and focus on the future. So most of us know to set goals, we need to map that out and make sure they're smart goals. So I have a little system, it's a PA planner. I actually fix all the things for the first 12 months in my diary, and then I've got some flexibility. There will be some flexible elements as well. But I kind of know, like we're doing a boot camp, Ben, aren't we, in January? So yep. do you do something similar in terms of setting out your goals in the next 12 months? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. obviously something we build out into the boot camps anyway, but yeah. I yeah. Think. I have this thing because I, I think when you commit to writing, there is that sort of declaration, isn't it? It's like, I've got to do this because I've put it in writing. And uh, there's a famous quote that says, you, uh, unless commitment is made, there are only promises and hopes, but no plans. And that was Peter <laughs> Drucker said that. Uh, yeah. 
And I think that's absolutely true, because if you do it on a wing and a prayer, you're only going to end up with very sort of mediocre um, achievements. Whereas there's sort of five golden rules I tend to use, and they are set the goals that motivate you. So don't put goals that are not going to motivate you. They've got to be motivating. They need to be smart. And we all know that smart stands for. We need to put them in writing and make an action plan. And then we need to stick with it. Because otherwise, you know, you'll end up, it's like January making a new year resolution and breaking it within weeks. So I find it quite aspirational and motivational to actually fix a plan and always have some flexibility. And you can guarantee, you know, um, travel plans are usually in it, but obviously travel plans are stopped at the moment. But I also put everything in my diary. So it's actually, um, you know, I've got some control over that. Yeah. Do you use a diary system, Ben, yourself? Oh, yeah, I think it's um, it's just so important to have the goals set. And then, uh, for instance, in the revenue section where we break them down into the sub goals, if you like, uh, and, mm. and uh, but you need to diarize your activity that converts into those goals. Otherwise, it just sort of drifts off, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, even when you've done those sort of the big plan, you need to then look at sort of weekly planning and often things will change need to do time blocking. And I think I cover this in the boot camp quite a lot, talking about a default diary and blocking out time. You know, even when I walk my dog first thing in the morning, that's in my diary. It's the first thing I do each day. Um, and then sort of just do daily reviews as well. Keep a check on where you're spending your time. And sometimes we can get distracted, but it's important that you focus on your top goals and, and put that time in again. Sometimes I'll plan several times. If there's a top goal I need to do, I'll put in the diary two or three times in case it slip. I've got some space further on the week to cover off that main goal. Um, do you do anything similar, Ben? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have recurring things and then you know, the projects that come along, but they're all sort of scheduled into different categories. It's yeah, just, yeah. I mean, everyone does it differently, but it's just a system yeah. that works. And then one of the things that's really good for me is the 90 day plan. And I came across 90 day planning a few years back with a coach. And I find that really useful in terms of generally have a theme and I'll break that down into smaller elements. Um, and I think we did sort of share that with guys on the boot camp as well yeah. to get into that sort of 90 day planning. Um, I think Zig Ziglar once said a lack of direction, not lack of time is the problem and we all have 24 hour days so often people feel a little bit when you get into 90 day planning that they, they they often are not accountable so it's like how can I make myself accountable for that and one of the things that work for me really well is I've got an accountability buddy and every week we team up on a call and those weekly goals are discussed but they're in the essence of the 90 day plan and we will challenge each other and hold each other to account. And um, I find that really powerful for me because when you work for yourself, you can often let yourself off the hook so easily. Whereas if you've got an accountability buddy, they're not going to let you off the hook. So that's something I think I recommend in the workbook. Great idea. Um, yeah. And really just thinking about, you know, measurement. So again, I mentioned this in the boot camp. It's important to measure your progress and track. So if you've got financial goals there that say you want to earn X amount each month, where are you against that plan? And if it's short, what are you going to do to actually sort of um, up the ante in the following month? And that can be quite challenging for a lot of people. And they just say, oh, it's a bad month. But often just sort of look at, well, where else can I get that sort of um shortfall and actually just aim for it because I always feel if you aim for it and come close then at least you would have achieved more than not actually aiming for it and saying well it was just a bad month um, I used to do this when I did a lot of recruitment with a team of people and uh, you know you, you'd be surprised the motivation behind it would be awesome when they actually would get the result so it's amazing when you start to look at it tracking quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, get into that measurement, looking at, um, am I achieving the things I, I am achieving? And have I earned money today? It's as simple as that on occasion. Did I earn money today? Um, so the, the workbook covers that as well. But um, hopefully it's just a taster of what we cover a bit more in depth on the bootcamp. But 
I just felt I want to give something away to people to say, 2021, go and be a goal getter. Anything is possible. And I see a bright future for HR consultants and people industry in general, because we've actually raised the bar now and actually shown the business community what we're capable of. Would you yeah. agree with that, Ben? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and the the goal setting, the 90-day plan, the just the activity of stepping back, making some time to think about that is so powerful in itself, let alone what goes into that plan. I know when I was talking to Penny Morgan, she was um, previous boot camper, but she was on the podcast and she described how she actually went away, went out of town uh, and mm. spent a couple of days working on this. And, and she is absolutely flying. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what we call warp days, working on your business days. Yeah. yeah. I used to do that. I used to turn up at hotels and just sort yeah. of get myself a quiet space and copious coffees away from my home environment. But unfortunately, uh, with COVID, <laughs> um, not being able to do that. Yeah. I just remembered in the workbook, there's um, there's a question that says, if, you're, if you were to describe your past year as a film title, what would it be? So I'm going to ask you that, Ben. If you were to describe this last year, as a film title, what would it be? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. The kid or me says the Titanic, but no, that's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it the Shawshank Redemption? That's a wonderful film. And he goes through hell and high water, but he comes out the other side even stronger. So, <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's actually really, I love that film. It's one of my favorites. I thought this morning about this question, I thought I would call it Corona because you can guarantee somebody's going to make a film about 2020, oh, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And none of us are going to forget it, but the lessons learned, it's been challenging, but my God, it's been exciting as well because it just gives you that sort of, you know, opportunity to think what else can I do to deliver value to the business community and I've seen HR people grow amazingly um, and I just hope they find the workbook quite useful for them going forward to 2021 so I want to see more goal getters in 2021 there's no reason why not yeah and for people listening to this do check out uh, Mandy on LinkedIn and just follow some of her posts because this is one of her strengths is just uh, connecting with people understanding what people's challenges are, needs and stresses and strains and so on and helping with advice, guidance, just a helping hand every now and then. So I love the fact that you're sharing this this guide with people, Mandy, because uh, it's what people need to start getting out of what we've been through this year. And as I said earlier, have an amazing 2021. So yeah, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Oh, thank you, Ben. And I look forward to working with you uh, in January again. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks very much for joining me and for listeners. Thanks for listening in today. Uh, if, check the show notes for the link to the workbook. And also hopefully we'll see you in the HR Consultant Bootcamp. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mandy. Bye. Thanks for joining us today on A Better HR Business, the podcast that explores the world of HR consulting and HR tech businesses. For show notes and downloads, go to www.getmorehrclients.com forward slash podcast. That's getmorehrclients.com forward slash podcast. Remember to subscribe and share the show with any friends who are busy growing a HR business. Thanks and see you next time.